Hey guys, I'm Anna and welcome to my channel where I make music, give curly hair tips, and tell my stories through vlogs. So this is probably one of my most requested video ever since I started on YouTube. Before ko pa man seryosohin yung YouTube, marami na nagre-request nito. And today, secrets will be out. <laughs> So in this video, you will be learning my curly hair routine, how I take care of my curly hair, and hopefully by the end of the video, you will also be able to learn how to take care of yours and be able to adopt the techniques that I use and also the products that I use for my curly hair. So one of the most important things that you need to consider when you're a curly girl is your shower routine or your shower products. And the most important product for a curly hair is your conditioner. <laughs> curly hair is very prone to frizz, so para makombat natin yung frizziness, kailangan always moisturized yung ating hair. Para sa mga bago po sa channel ko, I'm not using CGM, so the products that I use will contain silicone and sulfates. And if you wanna know, don't judge me please, if you wanna know why I don't follow the CGM, I'll link it down below and I'll also link it here. I have two kinds of conditioners. It's a silicone based and also a non-silicone based. Yung silicone based conditioner ko is cream silk. I preferably like the gold one and also yung light blue. For the non-silicone based conditioner, I use or what I like using is the aloe vera from Zen Nutrients. I use them in a routine basis kasi I find that using non-silicone based is not enough for my hair. Particularly, I like using them in a 1 is to 3 ratio. One day, silicone and then the next 3 days, non-silicone and then silicone ulit and then the next 3 days, non-silicone. So, I use that technique kasi I find na if I only use non-silicone, hindi enough yung pag-detangle niya sa hair. Next up, of course, sa shower pa rin tayo, your shampoo. So, you need to choose your shampoo wisely. Ang kulot po ay very, very sensitive sa dryness and sa frizziness. And one cause of frizziness ay dahil sa maling shampoo na ginagamit. And I use a sulfate-based and a non-sulfate-based shampoo. Pero mostly, I like using the sulfate-based shampoo. Yung sulfate-based shampoo na ginagamit ko is Tresme and also Dove. So, depende ko ano yung meron sa bahay. But I love them both. I am very, very fond of Tresemme because the way that Tresemme cleans is it cleans your hair well but not too much that it feels dry. But at the same time, it also cleans the scalp very, 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 very well. Like, sobrang, <laughs> sobrang highly recommended ko ang Tresemme. Actually, out of stock kami ngayon sa bahay and hindi pa nakapag-grocery. So, yeah, right now I'm using the Dove. And then for the non-sulfate based shampoo that I use, I like using the Zenutrients Google. Also, I do not shampoo every day. I do take a shower every day, but I do not shampoo every day. Siguro in a week, maximum na yung two. Depende sa activities ko if lumalabas ba ako, polluted ba sa labas, or if nag-exercise ako ng madalas. So the way that I use a sulfate and non-sulfate based shampoo is a 1 is to 1 ratio. Kapag meron kaming available stock ng non-sulfate, pinag-alternate ko sila. For example, this week, I'm gonna use the sulfate based shampoo and the next week or mga 3 days after non-sulfate. Ang important thing then when you're going to schedule your shampoo days is to learn to listen to your own hair. Kapag feel nyo na um, makati na yung scalp nyo, na itchy na yung scalp nyo, that means something is building up sa scalp nyo and you don't want any product build up sa scalp kasi it could lead to hair fall, hair loss. So, minsan wala bang 3 days ang itchy na ng scalp ko and there's a lot of factors for that. Pwedeng excessive oil na nare-release sa scalp, pwede rin naman sa pollution sa labas. So, it really depends on you. So, listen to your own hair and choose your products wisely. And I suggest don't be afraid of using sulfates. Just make sure that you use the sulfates correctly. My video on silicone and sulfate could clear a few things up if you want to learn more about them. So, my showering routine naman, since quarantine then I shower every day but I don't wet my hair every day anymore. Unlike before, last year kasi nag-work ako, so 
so nagko-commute din ako. Umuwi ako ang baho ng buhok ko. So every time or every day I really shower and wet my hair always. Pero since na nag-quarantine, hindi ko na kailangan magbasa ng buhok kasi lagi lang naman ako nasa bahay. Nagbabasa lang ako ng buhok kapag nag-exercise. Pag tas mag-exercise, syempre mabaho yung buhok mo nun. And pag lumalabas since precautionary measure na din kasi maraming pwedeng makuha na air droplets yung buhok. Ever since quarantine came, parang every other day na lang din ako nagbabasa ng hair. Next thing after you go out of the shower is hair styling. Once you step out of the shower, kailangan mas set mo na yung condition ng buhok mo throughout your day. So, dito pumapasok yung hair styling. I'm very fond of Monea. So, I've mentioned this from my video last year and yes, I still use it because I find that it holds my curls very well. It dries so well on my hair that it doesn't feel crunchy at all. It feels so natural and it feels so soft and also bouncy. But the thing is, after quarantine or nung nag-onset yung quarantine, I don't style my hair that much as compared before kasi since quarantine lagi lang naman ako nasa bahay and kapag lumalabas ako usually it's an important errand so ngayon parang in a month twice lang ako naglalagay ng hair styler at most i only use hair stylers kapag may official business like may photoshoot kami sa agency or kapag may kailangan na akong puntahan na very important that i need to make a good first impression and kailangan good hair day talaga. So, yeah, hair styling would really help you with that. Help you to manage your curly hair all throughout the day. So, ako, like today, I haven't used a hair styler. So, this is the most natural state of my hair. So, this quarantine, I'm working on that to wear my hair as naturally as I can. Part of my curly hair routine is my bed hair. So, this is one thing na feeling ko hindi ginagawa ng lahat ng kulot. You need to take care of your hair even when you sleep. Thinking about it, parang mas maalaga pa nga ako sa buhok ko kaysa sa skin ko. <laughs> but you need to take care of your hair even when you sleep. When you sleep, syempre galaw ka ng galaw, it's very prone to friction. And kapag may friction, it could lead to frizziness. And kapag galaw ka rin ng galaw, pag nadadagaran mo rin lagi yung buhok mo, pwede rin yan maging cause of breakage. What I usually do is I braid my hair before I sleep. So braiding my hair before I sleep protects my hair from possible friction. But please take note that when you braid your hair before you sleep, huwag niyong ibibraid ng, ng pino or ng... Ang tawag doon? tight or hapit, huwag hapit na hapit yung pag-braid nyo. Very loose lang na braids. Just so in place yung buhok nyo. Hindi rin siya paggalaw-galaw and hindi rin yung siya nadadaganan all the time. There will be a next curly hair video where I will be talking about combating frizziness, kung paano bang iwasan yung buhog-hug, yung buhag-hug na kulot na buhok. So if you're up for that, Please make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell to get updates when I do post it out. That's how I take care of my hair from day until night time. So I hope may napulot ka dito and I hope may ma-apply ka para maalagaan mo yung buhok mo ng mas maayos. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Make sure to check this playlist out. It's a curly hair playlist where I share what I know sa inyo para makatulong sa curly hair journey nyo. And also, feel free to check this video out. Thank you so much. Bye! Spread the love!